All right, this is the start of the uh, the last in the series of five. Um, I imagine we won't get to actual putting the, the final bed of sand into the pavers for probably three to four days. Probably it's, it's Monday right now, so it'll be the end of this week when we start to do that. But I wanted to do this as a setup for the last video. So in here you can see all stages of, uh, of what's happened. I'm not going to get, well, I guess I can get close, closer to that. Okay, so there is the drain tile. We started off with that. Um, then Mike uh, put a bed of crush in around the drain pipe, which you can see, and then he put that up about oh, 10 inches, 12 inches. And then he laid across this whole thing, he put a, a long sheet of landscape fabric to act as a micro filter so as dirt gets down, dirt will hit the, the fabric and then not go into the drain towel. Um, then he, uh, on this side, he started putting in the crush, okay, building it up to the top. Um, and then as he got to the top over here, he then put in about, looks like about five feet of, of the landfill that was previously excavated out of this hole. Um, he, we had carted away a whole truckload of, of all this, which we replaced with, with, with good crush. But for the top, the, 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 the pre-existing uh, landfill was, was acceptable. So what he's doing is loading in a lot of these rocks that we uh, excavated out, um, the, the concrete uh, demolished uh, step that was here. He'll load those pieces back in here. Um, you know, just because you can add that up at the top, it doesn't matter. As long as you've got a good bed of, of crush, you can you can put some weight on top of that. Then what he'll do is uh, he, he left it this way now. This is called the, the state of natural repose, meaning that that landfill um, naturally laid out at that, that slope, okay? So it won't pitch forward. Same thing with the crush, so that's natural repose. He, he poured that in and it naturally went to that slope. Um, now we're at the point where uh, he's got that that um, shoring up there. He's got this wall here shored up below. He's got that to act as a barrier because what he's going to do is, is tomorrow come in with his excavator and then scoop all this out and, uh, and and take it away. Then what we'll do is repeat steps one to four in in this video. So we'll. We'll go down, we'll, we'll take out the drain tile underneath this, we'll patch up the cement, uh, with cement, the holes that were going into the foundation, we'll lay a new bed of crush, um, take all the, 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 the bed out of the old crush, which was really no good, subpar, put in the new crush, add, put it in about an extra foot, lay the, the uh, um, uh, landscape fabric down, build the crush into here, and then put in a, a, another layer of topsoil. And then the start of this video, video five, will be um, the addition of a top layer of sand that'll go right across the top. Um, so we'll compact that down and then we'll re, um, re, rebuild the, the pavers in their original place. So this is a, uh, a rubber or plastic membrane covered in fabric, sorry, landscape fabric. So what, what we do, what we, as if the royal we, um, what, what professionals do now is they hang this on the side of the house so you can see it hanging there's two pieces and uh, what that does is there's there's two parts to it so you can see the back perhaps or you can see the the shiny um, uh, edge going down the middle that the the rubber membrane is dimpled so there's lots of little little dimples coming out okay it's like somebody pressed their fingers in from the back in the hot metal the hot rubber um, and then what happens is the uh, the water, when the water comes in to the gravel and goes down, rather than hitting the side of the house, it hits this fabric. So first the, the landscape fabric filters out all the, the, the fines, right? All the, the, the dirt and stuff like that. Then the water goes through the mesh and fabric and hits the rubber dimples. And the dimples act to disperse the, the water evenly all the way down, so all the way down to the, the bottom. And then what we've got in the bottom here is more landscape fabric sitting on top of a bed of crush um, and underneath that is the the drain tile the pipe so there's a lot of filtering and, and, and channeling here so the water like I said comes down that never hits the house right it, it, it runs down the edge of this uh, this uh, uh, fabric and, and uh, the membrane it eventually hits the landscape fabric on the bottom uh, where more fines are filtered out and then the water eventually gets down to the drain tile so um, so it's a pretty pretty nice system. I, I, I hope um, this part of the house never gets wet again in the basement and yeah, that's what I'm, I'm shooting for. Alright, we're getting to the uh, the end. So this wall, this is the wall by the garage. There's the garage. 
So what Mike has done, he's dug out an extra probably three feet and he's, he's got over to the uh, edge of the foundation wall that is directly underneath the, uh, the garage. And that's the new cutout, or sorry, clean out that he's put in place. What that's used for again is um, it connects to the drain tile down there. I'll get a bit closer later. But you, um, if there's a clog, you can run a snake down there and then it, it, it then runs into the, uh, the full length of the drain tile and you can and release any clogs. Very, very handy. So what we've done with the wall is we've uh, waterproofed it twice and then we bought this uh, membrane, which you can see from, it's a Delta brand. Uh, there's two layers, which you can see very clearly. I think I've talked about it before, but I'll do it better now. You can see the, the dimpled, um, yeah, I did talk about this. You can see the dimpled part and then the fabric cloth. So dimple part, and the fabric, fabric cloth keeps the fines, like the fine dirt and whatnot, from getting into the, uh, the, the membrane. And then when the water passes through the, uh, the fabric cloth and it hits the dimpled part of the uh, membrane, and then, and then the, the, the dimples uh, distribute the water evenly down the bottom so that it doesn't ever create a channel. So it, it, it kind of randomly hits the, uh, the bottom of the, uh, of the uh, membrane and then enters the drain tile in an inconsistent way so it doesn't pool and, and whatnot. Okay, so the hole, it's a bit messy down there, but there's a shoring, with a piece of wood. Um, you can see we've got two, right now, two pieces of uh, membrane. We'll have another one on the end uh, beneath the cutout and then opposite on the wall. Um, you can see where Mike has cut in the, uh, the uh, clean out at the bottom. So again, the, the, the snake will go down and cut through and do a turn and then uh, drain out or uh, drill that way. Um, that black thing, that's just a, uh, it's actually a, a burner, a, a portable burner for a, uh, an electric stove replacement. And we're, we put it down there because Mike has chipped out another one of those uh, wooden ties that is causing the, uh, the, the problem, the water problem. And he's cemented that in with waterproof foundation cement. And then we, we set up that, um, that burner just to, to, to dry it more quickly. And then he's put drain tile all the way through here. Uh, and he's connected it properly over on that side. So this is all ready to go. Um, what he's going to do is uh, when the cement is dried, he'll then put more gravel in, um, lay the, the fabric cloth all the way across, um, and then we'll paint, waterproof the, the remaining bit of um, the wall, which he exposed this morning. And then we'll add some more uh, uh, waterproof uh, uh, membrane, and then we'll fill this thing up. Okay. All right. So um, the, the driveway is a real real uh, war zone right now. Look at that. There's the, the small machine, the bucket right in front of me, the pavers in a big pile. Uh, rock. So he uh, he hired on yesterday, Monday, a truck to come by and he lifted out the really big boulders and, and they hauled them away. There's a compactor that we'll use to compact all the, uh, the, the crush in after he loads it. There's the big excavator and right behind it you can see the, the crush. Uh, we had another a second um, uh, uh, 14 yards of that delivered yesterday, so another I don't know, you know, 15 tons or something, and then there's the uh, uh, the foundation which he's already repaired over there. So the, and the one clean out poking out above above ground. Okay, so he's now in a position where he can start to fill this in with with the crush, and then he, what he's going to do is make a nice stable wall over here, so that this this wall that I'm standing on doesn't collapse um, anymore. Um, and uh, and then he'll fill that in, uh, and then we'll we'll get to the point where we run the main. So there's the water main right there in the corner. So once all this is filled in up to there, we'll then run a new main through through here, right? And we'll we'll have to dig all this out um, all the way to the, uh, the the water supply. Uh, unfortunately, that'll be another day probably. Okay, all right, we're getting there. All right, so uh, we've put sand across the entire length of the main until it enters the uh, that little uh, ABS pipe. And the, the pipe is there, it's a sheet that's for protection, right? So just so that the, the plastic um, water main can just can live without the elements hitting it. Um, and then it's, it's quite protected over here because we've got the, um, the garden here, like two, three feet on top of the pipe. And then through here is the, the step, so there's a lot of crush. Um, and then the cement or the step, we'll, we'll do build a new step that comes out here and it'll cover up a lot of that main. So, um, and then down below, Mike has compacted all of the crush all the way down to the floor. So, this all right, we're getting close to the end. So, Mike has um, brought in a, a couple loads of sand 
Uh, so we're packing up the, sa the, the sand bed at the top. This is not the um, near where we're going to do the pavers. This is just to get it um, to get the sand um, uh, in and compacted. So he's he laid it in rough and then used that blue compactor to smooth this out. Uh, we got a couple layers here just just right now. Um, what I want to show is the uh, placement of the new main. Go around the corner here. So there's the old water main, which ran in that trench over to the, uh, the public water supply. So what Dave did, okay. Dave from Clatchy, um, uh, put in that black ABS pipe, and that's like a sheath, the protective sheath for the uh, the plastic water main. It's plastic now, it's not metal. It keeps a lot better. And what he'll do, well, what he did, is he ran a new uh, line right through the house. He, he cut through the cement, chopped it all out. Um, uh, ran a new uh, fitting onto the house water main inside and then connected this to the outdoor external water main to it. And he, what he did is he left the old, that's the ground, the, the electrical ground from the house. So what they did is when they built this house, that's the, the, the ground uh, cable. It connects to the old water main, which is copper. And what we're going to do is leave this laying here and that will direct any uh, lightning strike etc through um, through the copper through that copper uh, cable into the water main and then into the ground okay so it's nice and safe all right so this is the crush the, the last layer going in and what he'll do is fill all this up put a good layer in and uh, and then we're we'll ready to sand it and put the papers in 